Hello there Pisces, this is going to be your New Year's Resolution Tarot Guidance Reading. And this is for all Pisces who are Sun, Moon, and Rising or um, any, any person influenced by Pisces energy. Okay, I will also be doing a New Year's Resolution Love Reading um, sometime soon, so be on the lookout for your reading Pisces. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Alright, so theme for the new year for Pisces, Divine Spirit. What is the theme for Pisces, New Year? What is the theme for the new year for Pisces, Divine Spirit? Okay, so you have two cards. I'm going to reshuffle. <clears throat> Clarify, Divine Spirit. What is the theme for Pisces, New Year? The Lovers. All right, things to release this year, or before the new year, of course. So within 2016, the remainder of it, what is Pisces guided to release? What are they being guided to release before the new year, Divine Spirit? Okay, the star card. All right. Goals and intentions. What goals and intentions should Pisces set for the new year, which will be in their highest good? All right. And we have the seven of swords. How to achieve their goals. How can they achieve these intentions and goals, Divine Spirit? How can Pisces achieve their intentions and their goals for the new year? Have the two of pentacles. What are the lessons that Pisces are to learn within this new year? What is the lessons that Pisces are to learn within the new year, Divine Spirit? We have the Six of Wands. Okay. And what new experiences and new energies? New experiences and new energies that Pisces will be moving into in the new year. Okay, so you have a lot, obviously. <laughs> All right. Main new energy and new experiences for Pisces in the new year. Okay, you have the moon card. Right? And self-discoveries. What will Pisces discover about themselves within the new year? What will they discover about themselves within the new year, Divine Spirit? What will Pisces discover about themselves within the new year? Right? The three of pentacles. All right. So let's go ahead and start, Pisces. So your theme was the lover's card for the new year. This is all about divine choices and making decisions about where you truly want to be, where you truly want to go in life. Who are you? Who do you want to be? And making a decision between that which you're being called towards and that which no longer serves you for some of you and for some of you is more safe and comfort. So it's a hard decision to make. You do have to really contemplate this throughout the year. It's like you'll be coming up against this energy. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You'll meet people along the way that help you to discover where you want to be and who you truly are. So you will be having some soul connections or a soul connection, if not already, that's very um, dominant in your life right now. But that person is here to serve you and help you to figure out what path you're on and where you want to be in life. They're helping to serve you. The union is blessed in a sense that the divine sent this person as your only mirror, your only catalyst to help you move towards your authentic self. Without this person, it would not be possible. So this person is giving you a choice whether you wish to move on with your life and find your true self or do you stay in comfort for the rest of your life. 
where you're not progressing or where you're afraid to confront your true self, afraid to experience the life that you are meant to live. For some of you, there's going to be a person that's going to do that for you. For some of you, it's going to be situations that are testing you in that same way that this person will. And all of them are, are blessed by the divine because the divine set it up that way to send this to you to help you. This is the only way I can do this for him or for her. So I'm going to send this person or I'm going to set up these situations for this person to help them. Okay. All right, things that need to be released, the star card. So these things that I'm getting that things that are not in alignment with your highest divine path need to be let go of. Anything that causes you stress, this is what they're naming, stress, depression, self-doubt, guilt, insanity, or feeling like you're insane, Obsession, fear. Some of you, Pisces, you've had it hard. Every time that I, I've done a, this whole year that I've done a reading for Pisces, your energy has been very hard and very difficult. It's like you're going through a lot. And some of you, I'm getting this. And I, I, I don't want to. This is what I'm getting. Some of you are feeling suicidal. And that is all enough for spirit to make it aware that if this stuff is coming up for you, you need to let this person go. I'm getting it's a person. You need to let them go. If it's your life you're dealing with that's making you feel in these ways, you have to leave. It's something in your life that spirit is telling you if you're feeling like that. It's a signal. It's time to stop. It's time to move away from that thing, that person, that environment. If you really want to, spirit will make a way for you. You can't make an excuse and say that you, you can't do that. It's not true. Spirit will always make a way for you if you ask and you really want that for yourself because a lot of you are feeling down on yourself. Okay? And if something and someone is making you feel suicidal, they're not worth that. You're not going to die without this person. This person more than likely was here to help you get in alignment with your truth. Up until this point, you have a decision to make how you move forward. There's things that are not in alignment with you anymore and they're causing you emotional imbalance and you need to let it go. Okay. Free yourself of this. Cleanse yourself of this. You can do it. And I hope to, to the higher power that none of you are dealing with that. And if you are, I hope that you get it through yourself, that your life is more valuable and more worthy than taking it because you can't have something. That something is not meant for you. It's not that detrimental that you would lose yourself in it. There's something missing. And I hope that I can get to the root of it. Okay, so in order to set your intentions, what intentions and goals do you need to set for the new year? This is a person wanting to give up. Someone that's hiding, they're running, wanting to give up on something, give up on themselves. Some of you cut yourself. There's something about cutting. There's something you're self-mutilating yourself, like you're doing things to yourself. You're in hermit mode, you're all depressed, you're all in emo mode. Set the intention that you're going to fight this battle and you're going to get to the root of what's wrong with me, what's happening to me rather, not what's wrong, but what's happening to me. Set that intention that I'm going to get down to the root of my healing, of what I need to really release and how do I do it. That is the intention that you need to set. Ask your spiritual team, your, your divine guides to help you. How to achieve this? 
You got to find balance in where you are. You also need to stay connected to the spiritual realms. You have to connect with your spiritual team because you feel alone. And it's because you're not listening that there's guidance for you. There's, there's spiritual um, assistance here because you got to find the balance. You're all over the place. Things are not clear to you. You don't know where you stand. You don't know who you are in some cases. Life's not over for you, Pisces. It's not. Right? So the lesson is six of wands. The lesson is to learn that you are victorious in essence already. Once you figure out what your truth is, where you are, where you stand, you'll start to ride out in more confidence. You're going to ride this energy out with confidence like, I got this. I'm not going to lose myself in this marriage, in this relationship, in this job, in this family structure because I was raped or because this woman cheated on me, this man used me, he abused me, he put his hands on me. This lover is not reciprocating what I'm giving them. It's not the end. It's like the lesson for you is to find your victory and success within being confident in who you are, seeking out the truth of what really is. What really is your truth? What really resonates with you? What's really in sync and what's really harmonized with you? And it's not this. That's not your truth. All right? So... Head towards what, where you're headed. Like, listen to your divine guidance. And that brings you up to the new experience and new energy you're coming into. The moon. Things are very unclear to you. Things are going to continue to be unclear as long as you don't go within and seek that guidance. Because it's not going to happen to you on the outside. Spirit is not going to give it to you like that. Because if that person would just tell you to... um it's okay, be with me. We'll just deal with the, you know, even though we're unhealthy together, let's be together. Knowing that damn well, it's not going to work that way. There's a reason why things are the way they are in your life. There's a reason why your boss is an asshole to you. There's something that's telling you this is not for you. There's something better for you. That's the hardest lesson for a lot of people to learn and to get through their skull. Why doesn't this woman love me? Why doesn't this man want to marry me? Because that's not for you. And sometimes it doesn't even mean that if this person doesn't want to be with me, that we can't be friends and there's not a beautiful friendship that's meant for us rather than us trying to be together. There's a reason why things are not working. They're not moving. They're not progressing. There's a reason and purpose for that. So you're going to experience this, this darkness that's going to lead you to your soul, to where you have no choice but to seek wisdom from that place. And that illumination will come. No one else is going to be giving it to you. Spirit is orchestrating in that way. Spirit is making it so no one is able to give you the answers that you're looking for, rather. They'll give you breadcrumbs as... A friend puts it, they'll give you breadcrumbs. They'll lead you here and there. But just know that they're not going to lay it all out to you. Like, here's the answer. Here you go. You got to seek it within. That's where you're going to find success in your own divine wisdom. You're going to find the confidence within life once you figure that out. All right. So self-discovery, the three of pinnacles, you're going to figure out that you're really not alone, that you have help collectively, support, even if it's your spiritual team, your spiritual guides. I feel more so your spiritual guides that you're going to find in spiritual advisory or counsel or going within in your spiritual guides. You're going to discover that you're not alone. You have support. And they're supporting you in the things that you truly want to create. Not from this old past place of I have to have, I want it, I need it, I got to have it now. And it's not in alignment. It's causing you to go crazy. It's causing you sadness. 
anxiety, separation, wanting to run away from yourself. You're going to feel more victorious and more celebratory because you're creating your higher self. You're starting to see who you truly are. And that makes the theme even more clear to help you find where you truly belong and where you're meant to go in this life. And you'll leave the things behind that have already played out already. They're done. All right. So Pisces, I'm going to pull a Archangel Guidance card or Angel Gods and Goddesses card. And these flopped out. I'm going to leave them. All right. Angel of Guidance. A renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. All right. You're going to see things more clearly, but guess what? Again, it's going to come from within. And you're going to have to nurture yourself. You can't beat yourself up. That's not going to help you find the answer. You're going to have to take that time. You're going to have to find balance within yourself, ground yourself, do grounded meditations so that you can start to figure this out a little bit. You can call on your guides. They're not saying that they're not there for you. They are. Call on them and ask them to put you on that step. Push me to where I need to be. You need to connect with nature because I feel like once you get out, you're free. That's a part of your grounding work. When you connect to trees, to the grass, barefoot, with the dirt, the soil of the earth, of Mother Gaia, you're going to connect with your spiritual guides. They're going to send you guidance and messages. It's clearer for you that way. It's actually going to help you hear them a little more better, a little more clearly out in nature plus your energy is not fluctuating in the house the same energy just recycling itself over and over when you let your self out into nature you're able to breathe you're able to connect with the earth and get that free air also clear out your home open the windows let the natural air in for a while sage your house let that air out do some type of grounding sea salt baths Work with crystals that help with grounding, working on your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus. An angel of pleasure. Find things that you are happy about, that finds pleasure. There's the fish energy here. This is your energy. There's something that you can create within yourself that that's really a part of who you are, part of your essence. Find that thing that brings you ultimate pleasure. That makes you happy. The person, the thing that's hurting you is not making you happy. That's not true happiness. You're not even going to be happy if you had it because it's not working now. So what makes you think that if you had it, things would be better? Find the true pleasure in things that are around you. The things that are a part of you, your spiritual gifts, your artistic values, Things that are a part of you as a person, individual, find those things and take pleasure. And the more at peace you'll feel, and I'm even getting emotional balance with, with indulging in your pleasures and happiness, whatever it is for you. All right, Pisces, I send this message with so much love and healing for you. And I do wish you all the best for your new year. I hope that this reading will be beneficial and it was helpful. I send you guys lots of love and lots of light. Take care.